Tascam's long-awaited firmware update for the Mixcast 4 has arrived. Does it deliver? I'm Hank from Free Podcast Tools, and I'm going to dive into the six main features that we were promised in this Tascam firmware 1.20 update. Number one, global voice effects for multiple mic inputs. I'm going to hit the hamburger menu because we're not going to skip ahead to some of the later updates just yet. Click on this menu. Click on microphone. Now I'm going to go down here to effects setting. So right now you see it's set to channel and that means it just works for one microphone. But if you click this next one right here called common, you get this message that says in common mode, the effect is only on the two mix stereo audio recorded or streamed. So we'll click OK. We could do reverb, but you know me. I want to do the little squeaky voice. So let's back out of here. I've turned the effect button off, but this is channel one. Let me turn it back on. This is channel one. And of course, in each of the channels you want it active on, you have to get inside of there and turn it on. There it is. Now you can see what this is channel two, and I'll press the effects button. Now you can hear it's working on channel two. I'll unmute microphone one, and I'll hit the effects button. Now it's back on one. So you see these icons up here at the top here? Those indicate that the effects are on. So you can do that with reverb or the voice changer, and you can have them active on all four mics, but they share the exact same setting amongst the four microphones. You cannot alter these individually. When you're under common, they all share it. When you are off of common, then you can manipulate a single channel whichever way you want to. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Next, we have input gain control for USB, Bluetooth, and 3.5 millimeter cell phone jack. So let's go into the hamburger menu. We'll click this icon here. We'll click USB first. And now you see, you can adjust the volume right here with this slider. Let's back out. Let's go into the smartphone. As you see, it's right here. We'll back out of there. We'll go in under Bluetooth. Under Bluetooth, you'll see it's right here. For me, that hasn't been a huge issue, but this is a good feature to have just in case you need to manipulate the sound more. The next item is something that has been asked for since the device launched, and that's automatic mute on monitor out when a microphone is unmuted. So let's take a look at how to activate this. From the main menu, we'll hit the hamburger icon, and then from there, now we will click the hardware icon. Now let's click audio. Feedback prevention. Let's turn that to on. Now we'll click the home button and back out. As you can see, the icon is lighting up because I have the microphone open. That is a mute icon. So that means the monitor out is muted because microphone one is open. I'm going to mute myself and watch it disappear. And now since I've unmuted, it is back. That icon is back. So this is an item that many people felt should have been activated when the device shipped. But Tascam listened and they responded and it works perfectly. I've been using it for a while now, and I've had no issues whatsoever. If you're getting value out of this video, please click the like button right now. When it comes to another item that people thought the Tascam Mixcast 4 should have launched with, it's the volume meters. Typically, the screen looks like this, where you have the little bars on there. Now, what I ended up doing in the beginning is I just plugged into a piece of software and got an understanding for what bar got me to what volume, and I was fine. I could set every other channel from there. However, it is beneficial to have dB meters on every channel. Let's go into the hamburger icon. Let's go to hardware settings. Click here on advanced, and now you see the decibel meter is set to off. Let's turn that on. Now let's go back out. As you can see now, we're getting a dB rating on channel one. 
So a really great job on that. This is uh, something simple, but it is something that a lot of people were asking for, and kudos to Tascam for making it happen. Next, audio ducking has been expanded to cover the sound pads as well, in case you want to speak over a music bed or what have you. Now, I don't have a music bed that's safe for YouTube loaded. However, I do have clapping and stuff like that. So let's try it as is. I'm going to talk over the clapping and see if you can hear me at all, or does the clapping overtake me? Did the clapping overtake me? I assume it was pretty darn close. So let's get back onto the screen. Let's hit the hamburger icon. We'll hit the device icon. Channel 1. Let's go to voice settings. Let's go to ducking. We'll turn that on. Now it says with pad. Let's turn that to on and we'll head back to the home screen. All right, let's try that same test again. Well, I'll hit the clapping and we'll see if I can out shine the clapping this time with ducking turned on. All right, now can you hear me better this time? Because ducking should be not overtaking my voice at least. So you could see when I was starting to pause, the clapping would interject. But when I started talking again, the clapping was reduced a great deal. If you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. At Free Podcast Tools, I do equipment reviews, talk about podcasting news, opinions, dole out free training, and much, much more. Lastly, Tascam delivered one more great feature. Let's go back to the screen. I'm sure you've noticed this multiple times throughout this video. But now we have it finally. Right above the sound effects labels, you'll notice we have an icon for every channel. So the shortcut menu is active, works perfectly, and is a time saver. Instead of having to always go up to the menu icon, you simply just hit the assigned channel and you're right in their settings. I have two questions for you that I'd love to get your opinion on. One, is this firmware 1.20 a hit in your opinion? And two, what should be in the next firmware update? List your top three things that have to be in it in order for you to be happy. And you can do that right in the comment section down below. As you've seen, Tascam themselves have commented in the videos. They've answered questions. They have immersed themselves in the space. They've been talking to podcasters and their actions are reflective of that. So I'd like to thank Tascam for making this video possible. Stay tuned to Free Podcast Tools where I have tons more coming to the channel, including Big Brother versus Little Brother. Thank you.